This is the Beltane video rite being done by the clergy council. Unlike in previous videos, this time we are working in a specific earth culture. In general, a lot of the offerings in Hellenic rites are typically oil, libation, or incense. We've included these as well as some general ideas for offerings for you to follow along in the rite with us. Hellenic rites also include an amphalos, or navel of the world, a stone that marks the midpoint. Not everyone will have one of these, and that's okay. Some things you will need to follow along with us are your home shrine, or at least something to represent the fire, the well, and the tree, or an amphalos if you've got one, an offering bowl, and a way to receive the blessings, a drink of some kind. Other things that you'll want to have with you are offerings for the Earth Mother, Hestia, Three Kindreds, Gatekeeper, and Persephone. We are here to honor the gods. The waters support and surround us. The land extends about us. The sky stretches out above us. At the center burns a living flame. May all the kindreds bless us. May our worship be true. May our actions be just. May our love be pure. Blessings and honor and worship to the Holy Ones. Let us pray with a good fire. I give you the well, and I give you the water in the well. I purify you with the sea. I purify you with the waters of Lear, the ever surrounding ocean. I purify you with water, home of the ancestors. I purify you see. I purify you with fire, the center of our light. I purify you with air as it rises to the sky. I purify you with smoke as it carries our wishes to the shining ones above. I purify you with air as it carries our words and our breaths and our prayers to the sky. Estia, firstborn and lastborn, we call to you. You, goddess of the hearth, goddess of the flame, we ask that you be our fire here, lit on our altar during this rite. Be with us, warm us, carry our prayers ever skyward. Estia, firstborn, lastborn, accept this offering. Hail to you, Earth Mother, our firm foundation, she upon whose shoulders we live, she upon whose shoulders we walk, she from whose bosom we are fed and nourished, she into whose arms we will one day return, Earth Mother, as we begin this rite, we call out to you and welcome. Earth Mother, accept our offering. Muses 9, I call out to you and offer this song in praise. and 
This is the hinge that shifts us into warmth and growth, the celebration of the growing light that makes the chickens lay their eggs with abandon and the first green growing shoots emerge. We gather in this time to celebrate the returning warmth and the seed that has the potential to come to harvest. On this day, let us be prepared to do the work that is needed to bring the seeds to life. Potential lives within all of us, but it is perseverance that keeps us at the task, even when it seems that the seed will never sprout. It is wisdom that is gained through study and experience that teaches what we need to do to keep that tiny plant alive and healthy. 
It is the careful tending of the earth and soul that keeps the soil alive and fertile. Let us be what is needed to tend the seeds of spring in the coming days. Children of Earth, we come now to the sacred space where it is time to establish our sacred center. My hands, like two eagles flying as Zeus directed them, bring this Omphalos to stand here, to mark this as the center of our world, just as it marked the center of the ancient world. Let this Omphalos be strong, marking this space. Let this fire arise on a pillar of smoke, that it may carry our voices to the heavens above, and flame strong upon our altar. May this well reach down to the nine flowing streams below, that it may meet there with the ancestors and resound in this well upon our altar. With stone and fire and well, thus is our sacred center established. Here at the center we sit, our foundations firm upon the stone, our voices deep within the well, our prayers high upon the fire. Take a moment now and think on these things, your firm foundation, your deep voice, your praises stretching high, reaching all the realms passing beyond boundaries. But today, we pass those boundaries ourselves. Breathe deep and find within yourself that firm foundation. Find within yourself the center of your being, that rock that sits there holding you in place, an anchor to the earth, centered, brightened, warmed and cooled by the cosmos, growing as we do. Let that center within you, that firm foundation, open as a gate. Feel, too, within you, that deep well, that resonating water, that ripple that flows out from your center, reaching to the edges of the cosmos. Feel that water as it wells up within you, as it already has, as it will again. Let that water flow within you, drawing up the sounds of our ancestors, drawing up from the chthonic spaces below, and let that well within you open as a gate. And let that light, that firm fire, upon which your voice rises, that fire that burns bright in your head, that burns bright in your heart, that burns bright in your belly, let that fire warm you, fill you. Let it draw up from where you sit. Let it warm, let it mix, let it mingle. And let that fire begin to open, pouring forth creativity and inspiration, pouring forth praise and song, pouring forth light and warmth. Let that fire within you open as a gate between worlds. Our firm foundation, our depth of water, the height of our prayers. These things stand here at our center, open, bright, warm, strong. Children of Earth, let the gates be open.
I consecrate these offerings in sacred space that they may become offerings to the kindreds that we all honor. To the nature spirits, I call upon thee from the bull of Dionysius to the owl of Athena to the black dogs of Hecate. To the rams of Hermes, to the stag of Artemis, and all beings living in the rustic woodlands, the deepest seas and the rocky mountains. Nature spirits, accept this offering. And I call to the ancestors, the heroes and heroines now dwelling in Elysium, the ancestors spending eternity in the Elysian fields, all those dead who dwell beyond the gates of Hades and feast in the halls of the Queen of the Dead. I see you, I remember you. I remember you in my life. And I give you this offering for all the wisdom you have passed on through your lineage. Ancestors, accept my offering. to the gods and goddesses, dwelling in their cloud home at the peak of Mount Olympus, watching down on humanity, feasting on the sacrifices we make for them, and giving blessings in return. I see you in that sky, I see you in that sea, and in the darkest shadows of the depths of the underworld gods and goddesses, I give you this offer. Kindreds all, be welcome at my fire. Be welcome in this sacred space. Spirits of nature, spirits of our ancestors, and mighty shining ones. I give to you these offerings in honor and in thanks. I call to the goddess of spring, she who dwells deep within Hades' realm, who reaches upward through the rich soil to enliven the seeds and let the earth be covered in sprouting things. I call to the queen of ancestors, who sits on her throne in wisdom and in strength, and ask that she arise in this time and come to us again. I call to Persephone, Radiant light bringing one, your power flows through the budding trees and unfolding leaves. Come to us, join us here as we celebrate the warming days and your blessed gifts. Persephone, please accept our offerings. Esto. We sing praise to Persephone, Persephone of the Low Slung Girdle, Persephone of the White Cypress, Persephone of the Hens. On this beautiful spring day, the hinge of summer, we join our voices and bring you gifts. Persephone, mistress of spring, walking free in the earth, accept this offering. Violets, the flowers of the season. Persephone, accept our offering. Through our praise, love, and sacrifices, we honor the kindreds as they walk among us. Through our communication with the other world, we receive their guidance, their inspiration, and their insight. It is with love, honor, and respect that we have offered hospitality to the kindreds tonight. Honor to the nature spirits, honor to the ancestors, honor to the shining gods and goddesses. Kindreds all, accept our offerings. As we have made our offerings to the kindreds, so it is right to ask 
what our blessings will be in return. Wisdom rising from well's deep roots, like sap flowing through the world tree, flowing with the light of runic lore. O spirits, let the true voice be in me, let the true sight be mine. What blessings do you offer in return for our gifts? What blessings do the ancestors have for us this night? The ancestors offer us the oak tree, which is a very useful thing and a tree from which we can gain a lot of knowledge and a lot of useful items. It will feed our livestock and us. It makes good houses and tools. And from it, we know that we will prosper and have good allies that will sustain us through challenges. What blessings do the nature spirits have for us this night? The nature spirits offer us waters. They offer us the sea, which is often tumultuous, but often provides us with a great deal of sustenance as well. We get fish and produce from the sea that we can eat, and we travel over the sea at our own peril but the reward for that risk is great. And so the nature spirits offer us the opportunity for great reward if we are willing to take risks. What blessings do the shining ones have for us this night? The shining ones offer us the seed which bears forth new things they offer us a new beginning that stems from the roots of our ancestors. They offer us produce and abundance, and that ties all three of these blessings together this evening. So as we go forth into the rest of our season of May, may we remember that we will be blessed with abundance, that we will have acorns, that we will have fish, that we will have seeds. This is a very good omen. Children of Earth, we have heard the blessings today. Let us take a moment and reflect upon them. Think on how you can use them in your life. Think on how they can brighten others. Think on how they can bring to others the blessings that we have received. For the work that we do today is not worth doing unless we can bring it to others. When we offer to others, when we bring them those blessings, we come in gosti, in fellowship, and in joy. So, thinking on those blessings. All waters are by their very nature sacred. At this time, we separate out these waters, that they may be filled with the blessings of the kindred. brought to this space, filled with the joy of the earth, filled with the work we have done today. Let these blessings pour forth from the heavens to this vessel, from the earth to this vessel, and from all the realms and all the spaces around to this vessel. Remember the blessings and the omens, the light that we have been given, and drink deep that you may receive them. Let those blessings flow through you and to others as well. So be it. We have given mighty offerings and we have received many blessings in return. Every day, we receive a different blessing from the gods and goddesses, the ancestors, and the nature spirits. And we thank you all for your presence in this rite, both your presence and your presence. Your lives make our lives more sacred. You inform our piety. 
You make us believe in you. And we shall make offerings again. Thank you. Gentlemen of Earth, for the work that we have done today, for all that our voices have said, for rising those voices upon the fire, lowering them deep within the well, letting them resound and be firm in conviction and in work. Today, all this work has been good. We have been blessed and we have been brightened. And as we have done, thanking those who have aided us, let us now close those ways between worlds. Let us find that center within us once more and let it dissipate out to the cosmos. The fire that has reached to the heavens, the light that kindled here has brightened and warmed. Let it draw back down at that pillar of smoke once more reside here. Let the flame remain bright and warm within us as we walk forth, and let the fire close as a gate. These waters, holy road for the spirits, that which has drawn up their voices, that which has filled us with blessing and with love. Let these waters flow once more, as they always have within our hearts, and let this vessel simply be water at our center. And at our center, too, the firm foundation. Let us, as we go forth from this place, remember our centers. Carry forth our blessing from there. Let us be firm in our convictions. Recall justice. Recall work. And recall our fellowship. And let this stone that stood at the center of us, the center of the world, let this stone close as a gate. The work we have done here today has been good been bright. Let us carry those things forth. Let all be as it was before, save the blessings that we have received, and let these gates be closed. The gates now closed, we take the Somphalos that marked the center of our world here, and we remove it from this space That it may no longer be the center, that what was there is left in the memory of the past, the lore, and of the work that we have done. I give thanks to Persephone, learner of life and fertility, who has risen again to be with her mother Demeter and to walk the land, to make sacred earth fertile again. Persephone, who has been with us in this life. Ah, blessed one. Persephone, we thank you. Muses, I called you in song and sang your praises. You have honeyed our words, you have silvered our tongue, you have sung through us. And for that I say, Muses Nine, I thank you. Our right at an end. We have made offerings and celebrated this festival that we welcome on this day. To you, Earth Mother, we thank you for being there today for us in this right, for being there today, this day in our lives, for being there today, this day this moment, this time, in our practice. Earth Mother, we thank you. 
Hestia, firstborn and lastborn, we make this final offering to you as is right. You have been the flame on our hearth. You have been the lady who carried our prayers forth. Hestia, though this fire may go out here on our hearth, may it burn ever strong in our hearts. Hestia, we thank you. We have done as our ancestors once did, and as our children are hoped to do one day. May we go in peace with the blessings of the kindreds and the fire of piety in our hearts. This rite is ended. <laughs>